Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is May 23rd, 2018. This is the first day of the summer schedule at my work, which is really exciting for me. Usually we open at 8 a.m., but now in the summer we're opening at 9 a.m., which means that I get an extra hour of sleep, which is pretty awesome. We're not allowed to work full-time 40 hours a week because they don't want to give us benefits, so opening later doesn't affect my hours at all. For those of you that don't know, I work at Transportation Solutions at SJSU, so I help answer questions that people have about transportation and I run their social media. If you want to follow them, I'll put their links down below. I I really like working there because I'm a transit rider myself and I believe in promoting public transportation and sustainability and my coworkers are also really awesome. So this is one of my favorite jobs that I've ever had before. The only thing that I don't really like about this time of year is that it's really slow. The summer session hasn't officially started yet and the orientations don't start until July. So not a lot has been happening but we've been working on some videos and some things for orientation. So it's been a lot of fun especially since I obviously really like making videos. Since I can't work there 40 hours a week I'm just gonna be working there four days a week. I've also been doing some work for Gavin Newsom's campaign for governor which has been a really great experience because I wanted to help him win since I was really young. I supported him when he ran for governor eight years ago and he's from the Bay Area. I'm still looking to do more volunteering and freelance stuff but those are the main places that I'm going to be working at this summer. Another thing that I mentioned earlier in the year that is for sure happening now is that I'll be going to VidCon from June 20th to 23rd with my dad and my brother. My dad and I went last year and it was awesome and this year my brother is going to be able to come too so I'm really excited to go to VidCon and meet some of my favorite creators and maybe meet some of you as well. So if you're going to be at VidCon let me know down in the comments below. It's almost time for me to leave so I'm gonna put my camera down and go to work and I guess I'll catch up with you all after I'm done with work. So I'm done with work now. I just got off the shuttle and I'm heading over to the Cambrian Park Farmer's Market because the farmer's market here is really awesome. So I just left the farmer's market and I'm walking home. I didn't end up getting that much stuff because I didn't have that much cash on me. But I got blueberries and nectarines and I'll show you what they look like when I get home. So I made it back home and I got three nectarines and some blueberries. I'm really excited to eat these because I love fruit. I'm probably going to have some fruit for dinner in a little bit. I'm pretty hungry right now so I think I'm going to make myself a smoothie with some of the fruit that I got from the farmer's market last week. So this is a finished smoothie. It's a berry mango smoothie with protein powder and I topped it with almond granola, chia seed pudding, and blueberries. And I'm really excited to eat this because this is one of my favorite smoothies to make. Got a spoonful but with a little bit of everything. Mmm. Wow, this is really good. I think this is one of the best smoothies I've ever made. As you saw in the video of me making it, I always put spinach in my smoothies, but you can't really taste it at all. It just tastes like fruit, but I'm getting some extra greens in. So I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'll catch up with you all later. So it's quite a bit later now. It's 9.37 p.m. and I'm just about to go for a run because I'm doing the Nike running 50K in May challenge. I started a week late and there's only about a week left in this month. Currently at just over 14 miles. So I'm about halfway to my goal, which means that I have to run almost 16 miles in the next week. So I'm gonna try to run two miles today. I'm not gonna be able to vlog my run because as you can probably tell it's pitch black outside but I'm just gonna get my keys and head out and for those of you that care I'm wearing some Nike free runs these are a pretty old version but I think they're awesome and I've been wearing Nike free runs for probably about 10 years now which means that I'm getting pretty old but yeah I would absolutely recommend the shoes so I'm gonna go run now hopefully I won't get too cold but um I will see you all after my run so I'm back from my run I'm drenched in sweat but my hair somehow kind of survived I'm gonna take a shower and change my clothes and then I'll talk to you about my run so I took a shower and now I'm gonna talk a little bit about my run I'm gonna get my tripod so this is a little bit easier. So I said that I wanted to run about two miles and I ended up running 1.95 miles. I'm not gonna show the map because I don't want you all to know where I live, but this is my time and pace and everything like that, which isn't that good, but I was pretty tired and I just started getting back into running a few weeks ago. So now I'm at 16.11 miles, so I'm just over halfway to my goal. But what I really wanna talk about now is something that I was thinking about while I was running and that is dealing with stress in positive ways. Obviously, I've been really stressed out these last few months with everything that's happening with my insurance and I've been getting really frustrated as you can probably tell from some of my tweets and other videos I dealt with a very difficult situation when I was 17 years old and my school was involved in this situation and while this was happening one of my teachers pulled me aside and gave me some advice that I want to share with you all today he told me about his past struggles with addiction and how he wished that he had dealt with stress in a more positive way when he was younger I know that life can be really difficult to deal with at times but destroying your lungs and your liver isn't gonna 
benefit you in the long run. I know that this might sound impossible for some of you, but try to find something that you can do that's positive that will help you deal with stress. The teacher that gave me this advice was also into running, but if you don't like running or you can't run, you don't have to do that. You can bike, you can meditate, you can do yoga, you can do anything that helps you relieve stress but doesn't impact your health in a negative way. I've dealt with a lot of stressful situations in my life. I was pretty stressed out for the majority of my childhood and I've dealt with a few stressful situations in my adulthood. And I know that that stress has impacted my health and will impact my health in the future. And that's something that really scares me. And instead of doing nothing or doing something negative, I'm choosing to do something positive. So I just wanna encourage all of you to take care of your health. So I want you all to live for as long as possible and be as happy and healthy as possible. So if any of you want to get into running, feel free to add me on the Nike running app. My profile is public. You can just search for my name. And this is what my profile picture looks like. I'm gonna do the 50K challenge again in June. So if any of you wanna do it with me, feel free to add me on Nike running and I'll add you back. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanna say for now. 11 12 at night, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.